Hey Country View, this is your Wildcat Welcome for Thursday, March 2nd. No birthdays today. Mm -hmm. On a thinking Thursday? On a thinking Thursday. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully tomorrow we could have some birthdays. I think that that could happen. <laughs> well, it is a good thinking Thursday. It is, yeah. Are you ready to think, think, think? I am ready. Uh -huh. Okay, so where can you always find gold, but there's no gold at all? Mm. Oh, when you go mining for fool's gold, because that real gold. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, no. At the end of a rainbow, because we don't really find the end of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. That's good thinking. Yeah. No, no, no. What is that? Do you think any of our scholars know? <sighs> this is a tricky one. It is tricky. Okay, I'm going to okay. repeat it so that they can hear it one more time. Mm -hmm. Where can you always find gold, but there's no gold at all? Ready? Yeah. A dictionary. <laughs> the word gold is in a dictionary. With no actual gold. For sure. What? That was a very good thinking Thursday, Mrs. Beam. Think, think, think. Wow. Wow. I know. Whew. You know, I've had plenty of time out to be thinking. Totally. <laughs> So it is that important time in our announcements where we are pausing, honoring, and celebrating Women's History Month. And we're really learning about what has happened um, in history that we should be honoring and celebrating. So on this day, Claudette Colvin was arrested for a bus sit-in in 1955. And um, so the book that we're featuring is Claudette Colvin, Twice Towards Justice. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the author of this book is Philip Hoos. So on March 2nd, 1955, an impassioned teenager, Claudette Colvin, was fed up with the daily injustices of Jim Crow segregation and refused to give her seat up to a white woman on a segregated bus in M Montgomery, Alabama. Instead of being celebrated as Rosa Parks would be just nine months later, 15-year-old Claudette Colvin found herself shunned by her classmates and dismissed by community leaders. A year later, she dared to challenge the segregation in the court system. And so while you read this book, you're gonna find out what happens in that court case. So this is such an important book because it, a gives us some information around Black History Month, which we just celebrated, and B, women's rights. Yes, it combines both of those. Yes, so yes. check this book out, scholars. Important book for all of us to read. Well, I'm Miss Beam. And I'm Miss Rush Hour. Make it a thinking Thursday. And we'll see you at our next Wildcat Welcome.